Welcome to Dare to Dream with your host, Debbie Dashinger. This show is sponsored by Dr. Dane here and Access Consciousness, and they do extraordinary energy work out into the world. You can attend their workshops online or live or become a facilitator. Go to Dr. Dane here, H E. Welcome to Dare to Dream with Debbie Dashinger. This show is sponsored by Dr. Dane here and Access Consciousness. Find their incredible work all around the world at drdanehere.com, as well as accessconsciousness.com. Dare to Dream has been nominated for two People's Choice Podcast Awards and a Webby Award. It is ranked consistently in the top best podcasts in USA in all of self-improvement on Apple Podcasts. This week, it's been trending at 49 in Sweden, as well as 24 in Portugal. Debbie Dashinger is a certified coach whose expertise is visibility in media. She coaches people to write a page turner book. If you would like help to finish or write your book, go to debbiedashinger.com slash visible visionaries and join this ongoing monthly live Zoom class from anywhere in the world. Also, she's got a company who takes your book to a guaranteed international bestseller. Go to debbiedashinger.com for more information. And then there's the ultimate visibility formula so you can learn how to be interviewed on radio and podcasts. Get your free tools and templates. Go to debbiedashinger.com slash message. Question, are you wondering about a psychic's point of view? My guest today is Robert Lindsay Milne. He's been a professional psychic his entire work life. Performing psychic readings has been his purpose. He's traveled the world giving insight with his psychic intuitive sessions to tens of thousands of people. For more, go to robertlindsaymilne.com. It's Robert, L-I-N-D-S-Y, M. I-L-N-E dot com. This is Robert's second time on Dare to Dream. And today we are taking listeners and viewers questions. So whomever is lucky enough to spontaneously connect with Robert, let the show begin. I welcome Robert to the Dare to Dream show. Thanks for coming back. It's so great to have you. Oh, it's great to be back. I know we're bringing people on and right before the lucky folks get to connect with you, I just have some uh, quick questions. And I'm wondering, well, first of all, okay. Obviously I have a lot of questions, but how does your gift come to you? What is that like to be you and receive what you do? Like, how do you perceive people and then that information flows? Well, I really don't see what I have is, is particularly a gift. And what, what I believe is, is that just about everybody on the planet, almost everybody, is, is psychic. And, and psychic ability uh, it comes from our, our survival instincts. And all of us have that. Um, have you ever been sitting somewhere and you look up and someone's been looking at you or is looking at you? or you've been thinking of a friend and then you hear from them. Or for some reason, you don't step off the curb when you were supposed to when a car zooms by. That's at the beginning of um, being psychic. So I took that talent and expanded it and took it to an extreme. So I, I don't see it so much as a gift, as, as, as something that I worked hard to, to develop that anybody could. Um, how it comes to me, and it comes to me in many, many ways. Um, sometimes, and I often tell people, if you want to learn to be psychic, pay attention to what's obvious. Uh, pay attention to what's obvious about the person in front of you. You just look at them. Use all of your senses. Well, don't touch them too much. But but use all, but use all of your senses and and um, be aware of how they are. And when you become aware of what's obvious, then more becomes obvious. And then when more becomes obvious, then our awareness or our perception becomes broadened more and more and more until eventually um, what I may see or or what someone that that does readings may see and and is obvious to them is, is not obvious to all the people around them. So it's an expanded awareness. 
Uh, on the other hand, um, it doesn't have a lot to do with being spiritual, although being spiritual, often those skills are, are developed. But, but you don't have to be spiritual to be psychic. I've, I, I've met a few that aren't very, very, very spiritual in, in those terms. Uh, not that I'm professing to be anything particularly spiritual myself. And is there anything right now, I mean, I know I have the greatest hopes that we're coming out of what has been this lockdown and this really interesting time in history for all of us. Is there anything we need to know going forward in order to thrive, in order to, um, I don't think there's gonna be a thing called rebuilding. I think it's gonna be a lot of newness, but, but talk to me about that. What is it that you perceive and know about this time that may be of import to us? In a year from now, so, so we're gonna be looking at, at, at April of 2022. Uh, one thing will be uh, happening is that the border between Canada and the United States will be open again. So, so I'm, by the way, I'm Canadian, so, and I'm in Toronto. So, so the border will be open be, be between our, our, our two countries. And, and that means that, that um, the pandemic is at least under control. Yeah. And uh, that that um, and 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 it, you know it's, it's it's great the way you Americans do things when 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 America when America decides to do something you do it better than anybody in the world and and all of a sudden you know you went from no vaccines to like um, a hundred million in in um, forty days and then and then two hundred million and like only America could do that. Only America could do that. Um, so, so whatever has happened to America, um, believe me, um, the healing is occurring. Um, mm -hmm. uh, um, okay. You notice uh, from us from afar, um, watching and 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 talking with a lot of Americans, the country is becoming calmer, um, feel, feeling um, safer, um, friendlier. And, and as a result of that, um, as, as the pandemic, pandemic slows down, um, the American economy is gonna be picking up. Um, people are gonna be working. Uh, um, it, it, so it's, it's going to be kind of like um, a, a spring. You know, you pull, you pull it and pull it and pull it and then you let go and it, and it snaps back. That's what's going to be happening in, to, to, to America um, and Canada, uh, although not quite as much. That, that's what's going to be going on over the, over the next year or so. And um, the, 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 so, so that, that's what's going to be happening um, in, for America. I, I didn't want to go into anything political, so I stopped. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It struck me while you were saying that, Robert, for the very first time, isn't America under the astrology sign of cancer because weren't we essentially july 1st july 4th right oh, july i'm sorry we're july 1st you're the fourth that's right i never well i'm a cancerian but i never considered that before i oh, think yeah. it's so interesting like so big heart home family oh yeah um, and, 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 and got a pretty crusty hard shell, you, you know? Ah, yes, uh, like a crab. Right? right. Oh, yeah. Um, True. Um, and and the, the other thing is, is that there's a, a sense of loyalty among mm. Cancerians that ha, have a sense of loyalty as, as well. So, so um, you, 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 it's an amazing country. And, and um, whatever, whatever issues that have risen to the surface in the last couple of years, um, it, it's like a pimple being squeezed. Big one, but, but it's like a pimple being squeezed. And, and, and that would, would be getting rid of the pus, hatred, uh, um, sickness, uh, health, uh, um, acceptance and 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 and, love. and 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 that's and that's the process now, and and, and that is it's going to take a generation. All right, America's all right, half a generation. So so it will it will take time, but but 
over the next several years, um, the, the, the openness and, and, and the healing is profound. Okay. So what, what is, what you see, see, one of the things that had to happen was, was that um, part of old injuries have never been fully healed. Mm. And, and this last while has brought everything to the surface and brought it into the light. And, 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 and when you bring something into the light, when you shine light on it, um, you become enlightened and, and it um, gets changed. Well, much as I'd like to hoard you to myself, yes, I know we have people who are just so hungry to connect with you. So first of all, thank you for coming back to the show. Thank, thank you. you for agreeing to doing this. And thank you for becoming my friend between the first time you were on the show. And now I feel I have this relationship with you and I, you're very dear to my heart. Thank you. So um, I will uh, shift into a glee to share you with others. Uh, the first person we have is Stephanie James. So I'm going to bring Stephanie onto the show. And Stephanie, if you could, there you go. Beautiful. And Stephanie, just let us know your name. So and, am I seeing Stephanie or, uh, or, or I can't see Stephanie? So it, I had asked people to not be on camera. Oh. Oh, but if okay, good. If you prefer to see her gorgeous face, I'm sure we can arrange it. It's up to you. Okay. Yes, please. I'd like to. All right. Well, it just, it just makes it well. Once again, um, being psychic is 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 being aware of all of our senses. When they come together, it makes the, a sixth sense. Um, that's that's what ESP is. And so you would like Stephanie to let you know uh, her name and where she's from, and that's it. Not a question yet. Is well, that correct? Yeah, I just I just want to make sure that we, okay, I just want to make sure that I bring her up without <laughs> disconnecting her. Wouldn't that be awful? That would be awful. <laughs> that would not be the reason. Okay, no. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just going to um, let's see. Oh, there we go. Great. So, Stephanie, thank you. Um, where 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 are you? Like like where are you right now? I'm in Fort Collins, Colorado. Okay, um, and uh, two things, how, how old are you now? 53. And uh, when do you turn 54, when, when does that occur? Uh, June 6th. Wow, so um, this is, you're just about to enter into a time where Ever you focus your attention, whatever you 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 concentrate on, is it's going to be coming back back to you very quickly. You've only fallen into or developed that timing in the last six or seven months. So whatever went on, um, say this time last year, you've become so much more enlightened, so so, so much. Uh, uh, more aware and a stronger belief in, in um, being able to accomplish stuff. So, so um, one of the things that if you haven't been aware or, or realized is that you are a manifester. So what you think you get. And, and so something happened about seven, eight months ago that really changed your, 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 your perception or, or, or way of thinking. That makes sense to you, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As a result, um, by the time you're at about 56, um, um, 57, so three years from now, um, just about every aspect of your life is going to have some major transition. That would be where you live now. now um, what and 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 who is in your dwelling? Who who, who you live with? Um, this is the time where where your inner self. Where, where your emotional life or, or, or your love life um, really starts to um, get stronger or fuller or, or so probably what happened last year was a really big healing process. That would have happened from about 51 or 52. And, and so, so that, that, that's also going on. Um, so, and, and, and this sense of, of, um, love around you or love with you um, is is just beginning for, for you but by, by the way it, it's just just in the early stages so um, 
where you live or and and also who will be living with you or who you will be living with um, also would be different than than, than right now. Um, your bank account sure looks a lot fuller. And and um, so is there anything you'd like to know that, that I can answer for you today? Yeah, I'm really curious about, I, I just completed um, post-production of a film I've been working on and just curious if you have a hit around the expansion of that. Um, um, so, I there's a it's it's a there's a toss up between what's going to be more successful, um, your creative or work life, or your personal emotional love life, and and they're in competition to be with uh, which which one is greater, and really what it's going to come down to is 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 which one is the most important to you, so. Um, that would also be that um, both are, are, are really good. The movie that you've made will do very well to your standards today. The next one, which, which, which would be in production, you would, if you don't have the, you, you should have the idea or, or be working on the concept now. The next one is, is the one that, that um, is, is, is successful beyond your comprehension. Awesome. Okay, um, that, that also would be um, said and done by 57, 57 and a half. It's, it's really, would the deal be done by 57 or would the movie be done? The money's in your bank account anyway. So, so, um, uh, so the money from what happens with this one, the first one um, also helps finance the second one. Beautiful. Good going. Thanks a lot. It's great Thank talking you to you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Robert. Okay. Thank you, Debbie. Bye-bye. Excellent. Thanks, Steph. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> that was really beautiful. Um, Thank you. That. Thank you. If people would have would see what was going on before um, we, we went on the air, that was uh, that was a really <laughs> big <laughs> that was a really big what transition. You know, Zoomland stays in Zoomland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Oh my gosh, it's all good, right? Because here we well, are. It is. Oh, it's thank great, you for that. So. We're going to bring in the next one, and that would be Ryan Matthews, who's going to join us. And again, we'll see if he's, if he's, he's dressed. Oh, if uh, Ryan is dressed enough. Oh, look, he's hey. so handsome and on screen. So, Ryan, welcome to Dare hey, to Dream. Ryan, good, good, good to see you. Now, 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 just before you came on, there was a picture of, of a dog. Is, is that your dog? It is. Yeah, who, what's your dog's name? That's Zeus. And Zeus is with you still? Zeus is with me still, yeah. Okay. Um, so, and, and he's good. No, no bad news on this one, okay? <laughs> There's no bad. Um, ha, 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 so, so one thing though, is, is that um, in his front shoulder, um, right front shoulder, um, right right here, so I'm get down on your knees, right, that one. Um, so so um, he can be prone to strains or, or, or twisting. Um, it, it also might, oh, I'm sorry, I, I got that wrong. He could, he, he could have a, get a, watch, watch where he's walking. He could cut his paw. Okay. So he's not going to be bleeding to death, uh, but, 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 um, so it'll throw his, his gate off. That, that, that's what I was saying. Uh, okay. So, um, where are you now, um, Ryan? I'm in my office in Huntington Beach, California. Nice. Okay. And, uh, two questions. How old are you? I'm 40. And uh, what month do you turn 41? The month of December. Okay. So um, I'm just a little bit, um, having just a little bit of trouble connecting with you. What would you like me to, just, just you know, prime the pump. What would you like me to talk about uh, with you today? Oh, yeah, okay, go ahead. No, Please. no, I, I, I wanna hear what you had to say. I, I saw that. Um, it was something that I saw that I'm not clear on. So, so oh, okay. okay, it was just something that I was saying. Go ahead, just. Okay, um, so I can ask anything personal, professional, correct? Anything, just, just, just ask it now. Just 
You got it. So the, the question is, I'm looking at getting a property in Texas and I'm- Okay, not stop. Good idea. Stop. Okay. Um, I, I, I wasn't um, quite sure but, but because you were, you, when you talked about your, your, your office location, um, the, the way it felt was was that it was it was a dream or or it's it's it, it, it's a place of beauty or was um, a place that you cherished and, and and that's how I felt about where you are um, and the thought of being somewhere else didn't just didn't seem to feel right okay okay so th that that's why I, I got confused about about something and and, and I I was having trouble understanding that um, so whatever you're looking at anywhere else um, you're going to be having your place where where you it is right now for a pretty long time is pr pretty much as, as as long as you you would like um, in terms of texas there's a lot of money to be made and I, I i don't know this i have to ask you is, are there more movies starting to be made in Texas or, or are there movies being made in Texas right now? Or I think, I think it is shifting that way. Um, I it? Am okay. actually, uh, Robert, I am actually in the process of looking for a psychologist to partner up with to do a Netflix show. Uh, but the, the, the Texas okay. property is an investment. And I, I understand. I, 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 I understand. So, so and Costa right. Rica as well as an investment property. Okay, so what's your question? Uh, so the, the question is if the Houston property is, is something to consider pursuing. Um, it is an investment that you will make money on should you do it. Um, it's, it's an investment that um, will have a lot of entanglements. Hmm. So should you pursue it, you can get it it would be a, a fair investment um, looking after it or worrying about it or, or the difficulty putting it together uh, um, will, 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 could be discouraging. Hmm. So okay. if you can't keep going, nevertheless, um, it, it'll turn out to be okay. Um, th the other thing is, um, um, right around your, your, your lower back. Um, it needs to be supported in, cause, cause I'm just starting to feel all that. By the way, that was the other thing when I went, when I, when you saw me react, it was, it was about how, how your back is out of alignment, right? Just um, right, right in, in, in your mid. And it's in two places. One is um, like, like your, the bones. And, 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 and the other one is, 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 I think the muscle is called latissimus dorsi. I, th I think it is. It's the one that runs right, right, right down down your back, and in that lower part of the muscle is 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 also sore too. So, um, so when you're 85 or 90, um, you're you're going to be able to walk no no matter how your back is right now. Is there anything else you want to ask? Can I ask on his behalf um, when he was inquiring also about Costa Rica? Um, is Costa Rica a good place for him? Costa Rica is, is um, as, as close to being a, a second home and uh, to you as, as um, um, what you believe is your, your... okay, so I, okay, um, I really don't want to rain on your parade, Ryan. Um, Costa Rica investment is far better than your Texas investment, far, far better and a whole lot more fun and easier to do. Here's the other thing that's the difference. Between, I'm glad you asked that, um, uh, Debbie. Um, so, so, so Costa Rica um, is, is one that, that they are going to be real happy that you're there and Texas isn't going to give a damn that you're there. <laughs> That wasn't the word I was going to use. <laughs> so, so, so they, they don't care one, really one way or the other. Um, and I, I, in my heart, I, 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 I think Costa Rica is, is, is a, a happier and, and uh, for many reasons. One, one, because you're in more resonance with that. You resonate better. Um, that's happy. And it, it brings you in more money. Mm. 
And I'll come visit him there. Oh, I, I Costa gonna, Rica, I will come visit you. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. There's a lot of fun things we're going to be doing out there. And can there's I There's going to be like this really large property, like a building with a big, um, e even a, um, uh, a wall or a big fence around it also. Um, so so that, that's going to be part of it. And um, is that going to be related to your, your, your uh, filming business too? No, but we will host workshops there. I'll bring in experts okay. like Debbie okay. yourself. Oh, we'll okay. Workshops on property and it'll be okay. experiential and, and personal growth for people. Okay, great. So anything else I can answer? I want to be respectful of your time. And if I'm able to ask one more quick one, it would Please, be- Please, go ahead. What, what, what does Zeus want to eat? What, should I, what does he want me to feed him for his daily food, morning and night? Besides his daily food? Uh, no, let's let's get rid of. No, besides besides his daily food, what does he want you to feed him? Uh, no, the question is, uh, I'll feed him anything he desires for his meals. What what does he want me to give him? A raw food diet. Yes, thank you. That's that's what he wants. Yeah. That's 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 actually what he needs. Right. Raw food. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Um, how old is he now? Zeus is five. Oh, you 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 you've got. A lot of years with with with, with him. Uh, now now you you also could be getting um, um, uh, another another dog that that will be with Zeus also. So so don't be surprised if when that happens. Right right. Okay. Wonderful. It's been, Ryan, it's been great talking to you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks so much, Robert. I appreciate it. Thanks for great. allowing me to talk about Zeus as well. And, and thanks for Debbie for connecting us. Well, he jumped oh. in, you know, he said, Hey, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's right. He's right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. There he is. Yeah. Beautiful dog. Thank you all so much. Really. Thanks a lot. Oh, thanks Ryan. Okay. Bye all. Good to see you. Gosh, these questions are so good, aren't they? they are. They're so completely different. Blessings. Have a beautiful day. Yeah, I appreciate you both. Have a good one. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Be well, Ryan. See you in Costa Rica. Exactly. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, next we are bringing in. How uh, many? How many people am I speaking with, by the way? Uh, we've got two right okay. now in the waiting room. Okay. There may be more as we keep so going. So what, what's going to be the, like, like, like if everybody shows up, how, how many will it be? J just so that I get my head around it. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't think we'll have any more time oh. than for maybe three more people. Okay, good. All right. Uh, okay. Good. So we're going to bring, uh, Tiffany on now. Yeah. I, you know what I love about these questions more than anything is how incredibly different they all are. Tiffany, welcome to Dare to Dream. If you want to turn on your camera. I'd love to see you. Over, yeah. You're welcome to. He'd love to see you. Yeah. Hi, Tiffany. And we can't hear you. So your turn on uh, the mic. sound isn't on, but you look gorgeous. That's because I was on mute. <laughs> Can you hear me now? We can. Yes, yes. Hi, Great Robert. To, I'm Tiffany. Great to meet you, Tiffany. So, so um, where are you right now? I live in Danville, California. Okay. What, what is what is the sign uh, behind you say? Do do it with passion or not at all. Great. Okay, that's a good one. Um, so, so Tiffany, two two things. Um, one is, how old are you now? I am forty two. And um, what month is your next birthday? August. Okay. So um, what's really wonderful about being in your 40s for you, Tiffany, is how good the, your 40s are from about age 43, 43 and a half and to the rest of the, of, of, of the cycle. Because from late thirties to the very early part of your 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 forties, so you you just leaving that cycle now is is going to be one of the more challenging times that you've gone through. Certainly, your 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 heart, not as it beats, but more so as it feels, has has gone through a lot of 
shaking, you know, um, and, and, and I, I was, I was thinking of the Jerry Lee Lewis on a whole lot of shaking going on. That was kind of like what was going on in, in, in your heart or in, or in um, relationships at that time. Um, you're a rather strong individual. Um, only someone who would know you well would, would have known that you were going through such a difficult time. You just don't let on. You're, you're, you're you know, you really um, always look strong. Uh, so most people didn't know the the, um, the intensity that that you went through. So you pretty much completed that. Um, as in, there's not going to be any more negative energy from that cycle. Um, so you said your birthday, did, did you say it was June? Is that, is that when you said? Um, it is August. 31st. Oh, sorry. Yeah, right. Yep. Okay. So, so um, from August of, of, of 2020 and to August of um, 2021 is, is, a, um, is how you're leaving this cycle that I, that I talked about. And um, the sense of being stronger the sense of being more confident is, is happening for you daily. A lot of focus is going to be on your job, your career, what you do um, in, in, in your business life. And for whatever reason, um, you, you could be signing a contract or, or going to a different location um, or, and, or, or doing uh, work that um, is more than, is has a different focus than, than, than what you're doing right now. Um, have, let me just try to understand what I was just saying there. Um, it seems, I, I, I don't know what you do, so, it, and it doesn't really matter. Um, it, it, it matters that, that, that I say it in the right way. So, um, so whatever it is that you do in terms of your work, um, you have to be in control and, 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 and it has to have some connection with, with being creative. Imagine. Uh, on, on the other hand, um, you also are pretty good at bringing in or creating money or, or, or making money or all of the above. Um, so so um, what you do, how you do it through the next year, you start doing similar things in different ways. Yes, you're on the right track. If you oh, okay. To, yes, thank you. Okay, okay. so so there, it's it's similar but but different. And part of the difference is that it's, it, it is so much more accomplished. The uh, um, this is not a residue from the last uh, person, um, but the acquiring or investing in property is, is something that you have a really high probability of doing. Your instincts are good. Um, your timing is good. So even by August of 2021, um, should you focus your attention on that, you, 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 you will be acquiring or investing in, in, in land, property, things like that. You, you, you'll love it, by the way. Wow. <laughs> um, the, the next thing is um, when you were in your late teens, um, was there something that um, jarred your neck or jarred your shoulders? Because it feels like there's been some kind of whiplash or um, some kind of misalignment here um, in, in your neck. And, um, a little bit lower. Oh, oh okay. Um, yes. Yeah. I played softball as okay. a neck injury and I tore something and it hurts all the time. If I sneeze wrong, sometimes it'll just uh, lock up. Huh. If I can see it, you can do something about it. Just, just that I don't know how to do it. Um, um, someone that understands how to gently manipulate um, uh, muscles or bones and someone with whom you trust implicitly. And also, um, no matter what, whoever, if, if you seek out help, no, no matter what, they must always tell you uh, before they're going to do an adjustment in your neck. Okay. Uh, okay. In, incidentally, um, do you like to drive fast or 
have the opposite feeling of, of being afraid to drive fast. There's, there's really strong feelings about fast driving. And, and um, the reason for that and the reason for your problems with your neck, um, you were like a race car driver. Um, I kind in, of am. Yeah, well, you, you were. And, and one of the things that happened is that you got into an accident and you broke your neck and you got killed in, in, a, in a racing accident. So um, that you brought that with you into this existence. Wow. That's why I asked you, are you do you like driving fast or are you really afraid of driving fast? Because in those situations, you can do go either way with it. Okay, so that, that would be one, one, one reason. Um, there's a muscle that's right underneath your clavicle mm -hmm. um, and, and that could lock up. If you can find somebody that likes to stick their finger under your um, clavicle and, and rub those muscles, you'd find your neck would relax more too. I need that, thank you. Okay, so what would you like to, me to talk about or what else would you like to know? Um, I love that you touched on, I have on my vision board in the middle buying land, investing in real estate. I'm in mortgage financing. So everything that you said was completely right. making sense. It was like same, but different. So real estate, right. real estate, all the same. Right. right. Um, I, I always second guess myself. So I would like some more insight on knowing that I'm on the right path. I love getting those validations of little breadcrumbs of yes, Tiffany, you're going down the right path. How do I get in touch with my spirit guides or uh, the powers that be. Tiffany, you already are in touch. Um, you already know which one's the right one. It's, it's after you go, oh, wow, that's really great. And then when you walk away, you come up with all the reasons why not. Um, from 11, 10 or 11 to about 14, there was someone of authority that would constantly challenge you when you came to a, um, an inspirational decision or, um, and, and, and that's why you're starting to, um, um, that, that's why you second guess yourself. It, 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 was, it was like someone was just sort of um, like, like a bird wait, wait, waiting to, you know, to pounce on you if you, if you said something or, 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 or made a mistake or, or um, it, was, it, was, it was quite intense for you. And, and, and that's where you learn to um, second guess yourself. Makes sense. Do you understand that with that, what I was talking about there? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. You just call me Robert. You call my dad, <laughs> sir. You know, he's and you still can too because he's still alive. So, so, um, uh, all right. Um, the difference between your instinct is that it is a warm feeling. It, 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 it you feel warm, and when you get a second guess, you get a knot in your stomach. So the first instinct is, is, is what you're really in tune with. And the knot in your stomach is, is your um, uh, fear of making a mistake. It's mm -hmm. truly fear. Okay. Okay. Um, try it with little investments, you know, like little things first and, 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 and identify, you, you know, one of the, one of the things that um, sometimes when I, I, I used to do um, call in shows um, for, for most of my life, um, I just forgot what I was going to say. Um, one of, one of the most, um, so, so one of the best learning times for me was, was when I had terrible shows, when I was absolutely awful, when, when I, I just wasn't tuned in, um, because I then learned the difference between being right and, and, and being incorrect. And the way you can tell it is by your body sensations. One is a warm, um, excited feeling, and the other one is a burning, not feeling in, in your solar plexus. So practice that, um, those two feelings when you're making small decisions. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. Good point. Right? So yeah, don't start off with the big ones, yeah. you know, practice with the little ones. Okay. And, and build. That's helpful. 
Is there anything else I can answer for you? Uh, no, that was, uh, you packed a lot into just a few minutes. I love Thank it. You. Thank you Thank so you. much. Great. Thank you. See you, Tiffany. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks. This was amazing. And we'll have for everybody, of course, there'll be replays. If you want to revisit any of this and hear it again, wishing you the best. Thank you so much for coming on and for the great questions. And Robert, yes, I'm good to take another listener caller. I'm ready. Okay. We shall bring on. Let's see. Okay. Joy Nordenstrom is going to join us. And Joy, welcome to Dare to Dream. And if you would like to turn on your camera, I don't know if you're prepared, so forgive me. You. But if you <laughs> are, are you, are you, ah, yeah, the uh, there you are. Hi, Robert. Well, hi. Um, where, where are you right now? Where, where are you located, Joy? I'm located just north of San Francisco in Marin County in California. Oh, okay. And there are two things. How old are you now? I'm 47. And what month did you turn 48? September. Great. Okay. There's a reason why they named you Joy. And, and all you have to do is ask anyone that, that knows you why you, you have that name. And um, mostly um, that, that's how you, 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 you come across to, to, to just about everybody. Um, it's, it's you naturally, it's you instinctively, but you've done some really good work on it too. And, and it really is a, a, a great way to connect with people. Um, and one of the things, one of your skills is your ability to relate, to connect, um, to cause people to feel comfortable or, or relaxed. Um, you're the type of person that could bring out other people's trust. And you, you might at times get burdened by, by people leaning on you or seeking your counsel or, um, yeah, that, that would be a good one, Se seeking your counsel or, or, or your advice. Um, because you're such a kind person, you, you, you may have had trouble in your life of, of, of saying no or, 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 or pushing people away. I, I don't know what you do. Um, however, you, you are very good at working with people. Um, you are a very good communicator and, and you have really great strong intuitions or instincts or um, 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 you've got really good instincts and um, that's great. So as you're coming to the end of the decade of your 40s and about to enter into the decade of, of your 50s and, and, and Joy, I, I assure you, that, that the closer you get to, to um, the decade of your 50s, the more dynamic, the more, the more enjoyable and, and, and the more positive your life becomes. Regardless of what you've accomplished up until now, and my sense is that um, when, when you're an old woman and, and, and you're gonna be like a really old woman, by the way, um, you, you'll be like a really creative kind of um, little eccentric old lady, but, but um, uh, so, so when, when, when you're an old woman looking back, um, you, you might describe the decade of your forties up to about 47, 48 as, as like a rainy time in, 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 in your life. It was like, a, I, was, I was thinking about uh, Gordon Lightfoot, who's a Canadian um, folk singer. He had rainy day people. And, it was, it, and, and, and that's the song that I thought of when I was, was, was looking at how, how your forties have been. And, and again, um, like, like another person I spoke with, you, you do act joyful and, and people may not necessarily know. Um, what 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 has gone on in in your heart? So you're just coming to the end of that that cycle now. The decade of your fifties is 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 the time where your growth, your life, is a tangible accomplishments. So tangible um, here on the, on on the, 
on, on the, 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 the physical plane. You, you can touch them, taste them, see them, feel them, hear them. And, and um, it, it, it is a time where you could be growing spiritually and, and um, you would. Uh, it's it's not going to be the area the spiritual part is not going to be the area that you will evolve the most in in this decade it will be um your your tangible life um what what, what people can see what you can see um what you can what what you feel um how 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 much money is in your bank account um, your creative skills, your, your, so um, it's, it's a time where you reach your prime or peak. And, and it's really quite remarkable. What would you like me to talk about t today with you, Joy? What, what would you like to know? Hmm. You, you already answered a lot of it, so that was great. Oh, good. <laughs> really? Okay, wow. Well. Um, oh, uh, well. I would... Great. I would, I would love the the tangible and really culminating of what I want to do to be able to actually get it out there to be focused enough to manifest the bringing it what's in here out, uh, and that's really important to me. And I just wanted to make sure that was going to happen. That's going to happen. That 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 is happening. Um, it's in the process. So, like when I was speaking with someone else on. Um, I don't know what you do. It's not important that I know what you do. What 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 I look at is 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 what it feels like, and and it feels like when I said it's already happening. It feels like there's a project, um, something that you've been working on, and may even have spoken to or talked with somebody about it, somebody about it that would be part of a work environment or, 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 or um, work with you or invest. Um, so something or someone that's already ha had information that you've already connected with, that's going to get stronger and stronger and stronger should you want it to. Wonderful. Wonderful. And by where the time we are at August, August, you're at birthdays at the end of August, right? Just, just, okay. So, so September. When, yeah, September 22nd. Oh, okay. Um, so by the time you're at your birthday in, 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 in September of, of, of 2021, the project or, or the, 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 the thing that you're working on now, um, there's either the financing or it's actually starting or um, it, 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 it is happening. And then, and then, um, you know, the closer you get to 50, like the, the, the um, more dynamic uh, um, your career, your work, um, your, your focus becomes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Robert. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Is there anything else I can answer for you? And uh, the ability yes, to is. see travel in that. Are you asking me, do you have the ability to see travel? Do I have do, the ability to see you, travel? Which one of us are you asking? <laughs> do you see that I'm going to be traveling with that big vision? How about Australia? Okay. Okay. That'd be one. Okay. Sounds so good. the answer to that question is yes. Thank you. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you, Joy. It has been a joy. You've lived up to your name. Thank you. Thank you so much, Robert. I appreciate Bye. it. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Joy. So nice. And um, wow, we're coming to the end here. We're going to bring on Jill Meradian. And um, yes. Robert, you're doing oh, good. So Thank great. You. I'm so proud yeah. of you. That's so yeah, much. Well, yeah, to keep going. And um, is there anyone else in the see? waiting room? So yes. if we we've if, got if two. we're over time, we're out of time. I'll, I'll whoever is waiting, I'll talk to them. Yeah, even absolutely. if it's not no, on the air. We're doing great. I've got oh. my eye on okay. the wall. So um, let's see if Jill can hear us. I don't know if we can see her, but. Jill, if there's any way you can put yourself on camera, oh. if you don't mind, Robert, hey, enjoying watching people and connecting with them visually. 
And then once you come on, I'll take myself hey, off. Hey, Joy. Like Jill, Jill, sorry. I, 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 Hi. Hey, Hi again. Hi. How are Hi. you today? I'm good. good to Thank you. So what can I answer for you today? What would you like to know? By the way, how, how old are you, uh, Jill? Still, yes. And the next thing is, um, what month you turn 58? When, when is that? January. Perfect. So what else can I um, talk with you about? Um, and I've recently met Jill and we, we, we did um, um, a, a session just a little while ago. So where would you like me to go now, Jill? Direct Something me. very different. Please. I, um, I wrote a book and I'm wanting to know if it's going to get picked up by a publisher and if it will have some success. The answer to the first question, will it be picked up by a publisher? Yes. Um, the time period isn't quite as soon as what you would like. I'm comfortable with saying that between now and October of 2021 will be the time that you would um, talk with and negotiate with um, a publisher. It is a publisher, it is an established publisher. It, it's not particular, it would be called, the, for lack of better term, it could be like a boutique publishing house. Um, and, and they will have a specific type of, of um, book that, that they would, would publish or, or specialize in. And um, you would be in communication with them, uh, sure, by June. And any success with this book? Um, well, it gets the publisher all its money invested as well as you get, you know, payment uh, as well. Whatever your book is about establishes um, a recognition or a credibility um, for you. And, and it's the result of the book being published that creates um, your, your success. So the results of the book. Um, and so whatever is in there. So, so that, that's where the real success will be with, with your book. Thank you okay. very so, much. Yeah, and, and so the book is successful for you. Um, the publisher does better than you do, but as a result of that book, um, the next one, because you, you, you're not gonna do it, uh, th there's another one there, um, would be picked up by a bigger publisher or a big one, not, not bigger, but big S or really big to the point that um, you would get money up front as, as a retainer. So, Great. so, Thank so you. both books do well. The second one is it gets really hyped, um, promoted. Mm -hmm. The first one, yes, it does get promoted. It, um, it, 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 and you do have, it, it is published. Um, the publisher just makes more money for it than you. Okay. And, and the bigger company, it, it, the, the book will make as much money that your, your share would be um, really pretty good. <laughs> okay, thank you. The next thing, the next thing is um, you may be teaching or speaking um, to people about about your books, and and and, and so you, you you could be doing something like that also with, with your book or books. Very good, thank you. Right, and and by the way, um, you can always call me, um, and if you have questions, it's part of the way I do reading. So please call me or okay. connect with me. Okay. Right. Great seeing you, John. You too, Robert. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Wow, you did it. Um, I don't know how that is for you, but uh, I'm impressed that you were able to, at your level, just uh, keep going and going and going. It's a beautiful thing. 
And so thank you on behalf of everybody. Of course, you know, there'll be a replay. There'll be youtube.com slash Debbie Dashinger, Forevermore Amen, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spreaker, Podtail, iVooks, and more. We're all over the world, frankly. So people will be able to enjoy this. And also, if anybody wants a reading yourself yes. and you like the full on experience, it's robertlindsaymilney.com. It's Robert, L I N D S Y M I L N E.com. And the way I always remember his last name is because of the guy who wrote Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh. That's right. Milne. They're changing um, the guard at Buckingham Palace and Christopher Robin went down with Alice. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So Robert, is there anything at the end you'd like to share with listeners? Is there something that you see in all the readings you do that is really prevalent with people that you wish, gosh, if only you knew this one thing, how your life would change for the better. If there is something like that, what would it be? Be kind. Be kind, even to someone you don't like. Be kind. And um, being kind, one person at a time, you can change the world. Just be kind. What are you next dear to dream? I'm sorry, what? What is your next dream? What do you next dare to dream? Um, I am living my dream. And um, I, I've had um, an absolutely wonderful year this last year. Uh, the next one's gonna be even better. Um, I went from being kind of semi-retired, you know, I cut back doing any shows for years. And, you know, I cut back readings, you know, I dropped back to about five, 600 readings a year. And, you know, it was really slowing down. And then I kind of came out of uh, semi-retirement and it's wonderful. It's just wonderful to be alive. So I'm living that dream. Well, I'm glad you're part this of is, my reality and dream. Thank you. Yeah. Me too. Thank you so much for coming thank back you. to the show. It's been It amazing. was great. Yep. He's the best. So if you want to connect with him, you want to go to Robert Milney, Robert Lindsay Milney. And um, don't listen to what I say. <laughs> listen to what is on the site. It's Robert, L-I-N-D-S-Y-M-I-L-N-E.com. Right. That's it. All of it together. Thank you. And I end today's show with this quote from C. Joy Bell. The only way that we can live is if we grow. The only way we can grow is if we change. The only way we can change is if we learn. The only way we can learn is if we are exposed. And the only way that we are exposed is if we throw ourselves into the open. Join me again next week on this number one weekly transformation conversation. My guest next week, he is coming back for a third time, Whitley Strieber, the great American novelist who also wrote the hit book, Communion, about extraterrestrials, and we are going to E.T. Deep Dive. If you love the show on podcast and want to see us on YouTube, go to youtube.com slash Debbie Dashinger. And remember, don't just dare to dream, dare to turn all your dreams into your reality.